this is AJ coming at you with another video um, in my new impromptu studio. Um, I got a follow up video with that with the Black Magic um, Television Studio HD. Um, playing around with that, I use that all the time at church as well as the other churches that I do installs for. But this is kind of different to be able to do this at home with my YouTube videos and um, channel videos, website videos, and live streaming and all this other stuff. It's an adventure. But that's not what I came here to talk to you about. Um, pretty much um, with all the stuff that me and my brother-in-law have been doing as well as with this channel is helping other people, um, churches and learning basics on live streaming and reaching out and helping um, businesses and uh, just pretty much helping a whole bunch of people with live streaming. Um, decided to go back to my roots and actually build some computers. I um, really enjoyed doing that. And I've been online and been seeing a whole bunch of people do all these type of um, builds and everything like that with the Fractal Design Node 202. Um, what I decided to do is because we do a lot of streaming, we stream um, high school game, football games, sports games, um, other professional teams locally here, as well as churches, events, um, concerts, and things like that. Um, along with the, the studio, the Aten um, video switcher that we got, building out um, pretty much the equipment to be able to properly live stream, but we don't want to carry a whole PC. And I think I've done a video before about um, a video my streaming PC, which is, you can't see it, but it's on the floor right now, and I actually built another one for a church where they to do some streaming, and they work rock solid with the Ryzen 3 2200G um, because it has a built-in GPU. It handles 1080p at 60 frames a second without even topping out at 25%, uh, so I mean, it's rock solid. So what I decided to do is take the same um, equipment that I'm using, shrink it down, and try and squeeze it inside the Node 202 because I believe um, the 202 is right about the size of a Xbox One, um, a little bit bigger than the PlayStation, but it makes it super duper portable. Um, I just want to try that because I haven't seen anybody online do that. I've seen them build it for mobile gaming systems and all this other stuff, but I've never seen um, a video where it's dedicated to only live streaming, nothing else. So that's what we're going to do with this. Um, half my parts came in. Uh, the case should be here tomorrow, but we're just going to go through building that thing out and do some performance tests on streaming. Um, um, maybe I'll hook up uh, my PlayStation here and stream to my channel here and see how it performs there compared to my regular system, which honestly it should be the exact same because they're the exact same specs. Um, but just wanted to try and do that and see how it is and then also this is my demo unit so it makes it a whole lot easier to throw it in a book bag instead of taking an entire computer with a retail box and a monitor and all this other stuff so this is mainly for power and a super small form factor so let's get started and let's see what we got all right all right so like i said um half of my stuff has come in so the only thing that isn't physically here yet is the Node 202 case with the included um, SFX 450 watt power supply. So I don't know how excited y'all would be about seeing that. But either way, this is what I do have in place. I have my ASRock AB350 Gaming ITX motherboard with built-in Wi-Fi. And it is Ryzen... 2000 ready so I don't have to worry about trying to hook up a old processor and updating the firmware and all this other stuff and this is a super tiny board rock solid had very good reviews so this is super tiny yeah pretty cool stuff right there so this is going to be the brains of the operation. It has one PCIe slot, which is going to be, oops, which is going to be good for the Blackmagic DeckLink Mini Recorder, which if you've been on my channel for any period of time, I love that card as an internal um, card for 
streaming. Um, most people wouldn't actually use it for that. But it is supported by OBS and a bunch of the other well-known um, streaming softwares. And I use that at my church as well as a couple of other um, people I've built computers for that do live streaming and it's rock solid. Um, I actually have an Elgato HD60 Pro in my main streaming system. Um, and since I've moved to the ATEM um, television studio with more professional BNC connectors, um, I'm actually thinking about maybe putting the Elgato in here. Uh, so it's mainly just for HDMI in, and then actually the deck link that I have coming in, I'm going to put that in my streaming system. I'm still debating about that, but that's kind of what we're thinking about doing. So let's go ahead and set this to the side. All my cables and stuff like that, which I really don't need, based off of the next thing I'm going to talk about. Oh. Well, let me actually take this stuff out here. These are the antennas for the Wi-Fi. Definitely going to need those. The SATA cables don't need. But we will need this. This is for our M.2. Now, for the M.2, I actually um, jumped back and actually didn't pick somebody I really knew I got this mainly for price this is only a hundred and twenty eight gig I'm um, a hundred and twenty gig um, M.2 drive and that's mainly because this system is going to be running Windows honestly I'd rather just run Linux because it's free but I'll put Windows 10 on here and pretty much OBS and that's the only thing I mean I have the drivers but nothing else because this is a dedicated streaming system. This isn't going to be playing games, not office, nothing but streaming. All right? So this should be more than enough just to hold the operating system in OBS. And I will not be recording here, but if I did, I would definitely add like a one terabyte or two terabyte drive inside of here, um, the Note 202. But again, this is for streaming only, and I'm not going to be recording on in, um, to the system at all. Next, for our memory, we don't need a lot of memory, so I just got the Corsair Vengeance LPX, a two, well actually eight gigabyte and two four gigabyte sticks. Um, hopefully this is small enough to fit inside the case, um, but it should be straight and straightforward and got it in red, not like it really cares, because there no, there's no tempered glass or anything in the case, so you're not really going to be able to see it once it's put together. But this is rock solid. Again, most of my streaming systems, I'm only putting in 8 gigs of memory because that's more than enough. Because um, mainly everything is going to be done by the CPU and the GPU. Set that aside. And my new favorite processor, this is probably the fifth computer I've built with this. This is the Ryzen 3 2200G with the internal... Uh, APU It's with the Vega graphics on board. And... You know, no, it doesn't have eight cores or nothing like the Ryzen 5, but this is rock solid. I'm running actually the old 1200, I believe, on my dedicated streaming system with a, I have a GTX 1050 with it. But even then, I can render and stream at 1080p, 60 frames a second without even batting an eye and then... The previous build I built with this same system with just the processor with nothing else is handling 1080p at 60 frames a second with um, maybe a load of 30%. So it's rock solid. So that's why I feel that uh, I can do this mini build with just this processor and not really have to worry. So um, I'm actually kind of feeling like I want to put this thing together now even though I know I'm still waiting for the case to come in, but the good thing is because everything is integrated, I can put everything on the motherboard and then I just have to slide the motherboard into the case and then connect the capture card, which I believe I'm going to use, to, like I said, the Elgato HD60 Pro, which I already have on hand. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and jump ahead and let's do a little time lapse here.
power supply and they were not kidding on how tight an area you get to work in from black magic which i believe should fix my issue with my camera because it's great and as affordable as the great as affordable that the black magic switchers are here is the mount that I will put here for to put the well not the video card but the capture card right here and supposedly I heard that I should have put this in first but as tough as it was to get motherboard in here I think this is going to be a piece of cake in comparison all right that goes there and then this one goes right here on the side yeah that was easy now what I should have did tells you why I'm not paying attention I'm supposed to screw in the motherboard one. She had a. Uh, okay. Well, you hear that, YouTube? My sister didn't invite me. I mean, I'm actually no. I mean, I'm actually recording you right now because I was in the middle. Because I was in the middle of putting the rest of this computer together, and it was easier for me to answer the phone than to stop everything. So I'll just. I mean, it's not. Nah, I'm gonna keep it on. I'm gonna tag you on it. All right, bro. space in here I could even put fans in here if I wanted to but I'm not going to do that right now and this is the stock fan which just clears all right I think we're done a lot later than I thought and the mini no 202 streaming box is done um, I like how it turned out but I kind of shot myself in the foot when I said that I'm done found out when I put the motherboard in the two HDMI ports the little hook that's on that back plate actually got hooked under the HDMI so I couldn't even plug one in. So I literally had to disassemble the entire case again, all the way down to being able to remove the motherboard and re-wedge it into the IO shield. So that took an additional, I don't know, 15 minutes. Um, got everything installed um, with Windows 10. System is super fast. Um, 
Haven't been able to hook it up to my switcher, but I think I, I don't, can't even remember if I cut the video out about that, but pretty much the Decklink recording, um, mini recorder, can only support up to, well, my switcher right now, I'm running at 1080p 59.94, which the Decklink mini recorder cannot accept. It can only accept 1080i 5994, um, and it doesn't do 1080p at all. Um, you could get the 4K version of the Decklink recorder, and it can record, it can handle that resolution. Um, I mean, not really that big of a deal. I might think about getting one of those, but I'm not really that hard pressed about it. Um, I was able to hook my GoPro up to it directly, and went fine, performance is great. Um, I think I did a couple of tests streaming to different services and I was able I was getting 1080p 60 frames a second OBS was bumping it up and it was able to kick it out at 1080p at 60 frames a second it wasn't doing more than 13 percent CPU so I think a mission is accomplished I actually do another follow-up video um, about the performance and everything like that and actually show you the benchmarks and things like that in the performance uh, in a real life real world scenario I might actually take it to my father-in-law's church or even my home church and try and stream off of it but this video is going a lot longer than I thought um, and it's kind of late so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end it now um, hope you all enjoyed the build and my little commentary in between but I will follow up with some more videos on the performance and everything like that this is AJ um, thank y'all for stopping by consider subscribing to my channel and also click the bell down there so that, that way you get notified when I come out with new videos this is AJ we'll check you later Bye.